Hi guys and welcome back. We're here with another Rise of Mordor custom battle for you. And I realized the other day when I was looking through my videos, I was like, I've not actually shown off Mordor to these uh, Mordor. I've not shown off Gondor to these guys. Um, I've shown off Don Lamaroff, which is similar to Gondor, but not seen the classic Gondor uh, units. So I thought we'll do a video on them this week. Um, why not? And Gondor is daring to go into the desert and fight off in the distance an Eastling army. There is out there somewhere hordes of Eastlings and hopefully one day when they ev eventually add them, Mumma Kill. Um, so we'll quickly have a look at these guys. But I mean, look at the uniforms. Like, I mean, let's get, find a better example. Someone that's face on. This guy's fairly face on. Um, look at the breastplate and on that. Just the detail um, with the white tree of Gondor, it just looks amazing, and the shields as well, they just look, they look, I mean, every single guy just looks straight out of the movies, they look amazing, the officer here, he looks, look at him, he's a grizzled veteran of many wars, just loving the little uh, capes that they have, like, going on here, it just looks amazing, so anyway, we'll have a quick look at some of the other units, you've got the classic fountain guard, the pike units, these guys just look insane as well, look at that guy, that is a man ready to kill, God download of evil men. So, hopefully he'll get his chance. What else do we have? We've got um, we've got some Axemen of Lozenarch. Um, Lozenarch is part of Gondor. There, it's um, to the it's like in the western, southwestern part of uh, Gondor, I think. Um, but these guys look pretty good as well. They'll be a fairly good shock unit to have. Um, that's why I've got them in reserve, um, either for flanking or just for filling up the lines. Uh, if the lines become thin, I guess. Um, but these guys look pretty damn cool as well. I mean, not as well armoured, but, you know, they're going to be... They get, they've got their axes. They can do some damage with them. Then we've got the classic Gondor Spearmen. These guys, if anything, look even more like our movies. Because I don't know, there's like more Spearmen, certainly, in the um, in the movies than in... Uh, than Swordsman, I would have said, possibly. But, I mean, I'm just going to take a quick... Oh, screenshot there. That just looks beautiful. That is beautiful. Uh, I just can't get enough of this mod. I um, I need to play it more, to be honest. Even just on my own. Even if it's not on the channel. Then we've got um, Knights of the Silver Swan here. So these are like sort of the Swan Knights that um, Gondor has. Um, oh, he's got the Dol Amroth uh, shield. and um, uh, So these are basically Swan Knights. They look excellent. My general is in uh, one of these units. I think he's in this one. Yeah, this might be him here. Looks pretty damn cool. Ready for war. Oh, yes, that, he looks good. And then I think over this side is the final, like, different un uh, melee unit that I've got. Oh, actually, no, it's two more. But look at these guys. Look at these guys. The Citadel Guard. These guys look amazing. They look possibly... These are possibly my favourite looking unit. They look amazing. Just the shields, just... It's just so unique. And just look, they've just spent so much time on and love into it. And you can tell... And it's just really paid off. And then these guys, I can't actually remember what these guys are called. Prince's Coast Guards. These guys are a Halberd unit. They um they look they look cool. I like them. I mean, it doesn't help if the officers and the flag bearer aren't looking the right way. You're just showing shame on your unit. But yeah, they, I just brought them like to show them off. They look pretty damn cool. Then we'll just get on to the uh, the other units that everyone knows about. So you've got the Athelian Rangers. These guys look, which uh, Faramir is like part of. Um Along with, well, he's got loads of roles to be honest, but he's a, a ranger at one point. Um, they look pretty cool. Um, they look so, look at that, look at their clothes, so ragged, just been in the in the brush and uh, the wild for so long. And then over here we've got the more professional looking, but I mean, equally as skilled as the Athelian range. Well, the Athelian range is equally as skilled as these guys, but these are the Gondor archers. Again, looking very similar to their counterparts with the sword and spear, um, with good looking armor. And just with a bow instead, and no shield. So uh, we'll we'll get a move on. I'm unfortunately replays for some reason. I had a really good one uh, saved, but unfortunately replays are not working at the moment for me. Uh, so I'm gonna just play it, and we'll get going. I imagine um, because I'm attacking, the AI decided to bring some defenses. So we'll just move everything forward to about there. So yes, well, I don't even think I've shown the Easterlings off yet um, on the channel. So we'll try and find them. But yeah, you can see here, brought defences. So we'll just have to go around them and make sure my general doesn't die. Because that's happened a few times in a few replays. But um, let's quickly have a look. Yes, the enemy has been sighted. And we've got here, I'm gonna need, I'm definitely going to need the hood up to see what these are. These are Varag Bowmen. 
These guys look excellent. Look at them. Look at that guy. That that armor for just for the helmet. So unique. And just... I wouldn't have thought of that. that but it looks so good. Then we'll go to the back here. The, look at the classic low-key low rim warriors. Who look amazing. Look at them. Wow. I'm just going to take... Oh, all right, move off just as I was going to take some pictures. How rude. And then we've got the Loki. Um, I actually can't remember what these guys are called. Loki. Oh, they're just Loki Rim Halberds. Halberdiers. These guys look. I think these are like sword, the guys that you see in the um, in the movies. And um, the sub mod has actually expanded these guys and they look a lot better. Um, I probably actually should have gone with the sub mod, but this is just the normal Rise of Mordor mod. Um, but yeah, the submods bulked out the Eastlings a lot more, and they've got a lot more units going on. So they're the Halberdiers. They look excellent. And then we've got the Bane of the Step over here, which I think that is their name. They look... They're horse archers, armoured horse archers with spears. They are nasty. I would not want to come across them. And then somewhere in the rear, while the battle starts, is um, some Axemen. So we'll quickly have a look at them. Varigark Axemen. They are here. They, they just basically look the same as the archers. They just got axes, but we'll have a quick look at these guys. They look excellent. I'm not really too bothered about who wins this battle. I just want to show off the mod. Uh, let's just put the general out here. Don't want him just being shot. Um, cavalry, I don't know why you haven't moved up, but you haven't. Um, let's just send them in to try and deal with these Bane of the Steps. Um, focus down archers, please. Oh, they also have... Um, Horse archers, I forgot. So we're outnumbered in missiles, so we're going to have to deal with that. I'll bring... Actually, let's just get all the Citadel Guard and bring you like so. Um, and probably the Coast Guard, actually, probably could do with having that done. Okay, their cavalry... Is their cavalry better or worse than mine? Oh, it's actually worse. Wow. That's surprising. Um, let's just send in them, because they're actually losing as these sword unit. Wow, I'm surprised. I'm actually kind of surprised. It's sword... Um, infantry shouldn't be doing so well just like against others I guess but um, I'm gonna send forward all the lines because I think I can beat them in combat I think my men are more professional than theirs but I mean they certainly have the numbers I would have thought um, you can forward as well I'm just gonna have to get their archers with my cavalry and hope that we can do some damage there and um, we're still losing this interestingly enough um, Pike's push. Oh yeah, we are going to get hurt a lot there. Um, spears and halberds go in the side here. Um, and just keep... Oh, okay, they're going to send their general in first. Okay. Um, that's interesting and probably not a wise move. Um, let's send my carry unit over there quickly. Let's... Um, wait on the rest and what to do. Ow, 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 ow. We can't actually now. We can't just stand here and get shot, unfortunately. Um, General, go in here. Oh, actually no. General, come back. We're going to get isolated. Um, yeah, I don't really want you. Just They pin themselves in with the defences of the backs, which is smart. It also, this, general, this carry unit is getting is winning this battle and it has three units committed to it. Wow, the uh, they're actually better than I thought of the um, Eastlings, that's what I was going to say. Right, let's deal with the rest of their cavalry and then we can commit everything else. Right, okay, so we're winning in this... Ah, oh, and they've got them though. Oh, uh, so the cavalry going to die here, aren't they? Uh, the no. Nope. Um, let's... It's so bright, though. That's the only problem. I was like, let's find a really good map, which makes it really nice and bright to show off. Um, and, you know, actually, I want to send the cavalry in here. Um, let's... And you go in here. Just stop harassing my infantry. My poor infantry. They've done nothing to you all game. Right, and let's just encircle these guys. Let's have a quick look at the battle while I'm waiting. Waiting for things to happen. But look at these. Citadel Guard. Oh. Fighting the Eastlings. That looks good. I'm going to take a few screenshots as we go in. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry you lose the immersion. Just hear this little squeak go off. And you're like, oh, what's that? A horrible noise. 
You just feel like, well, it's Pope t taking pictures because he's just so in love with this goddamn game. Um, and you go over here, please. Um, are you winning? Yes, you're winning. Quite, quite convincingly winning that. Um, okay, you need to actually get a move on. Fountain and Guard don't seem to keep like to do stuff. Um, yes, they are enemies. Brilliant. So we'll charge in there. Kill these guys. And their halberds seem to be doing a lot of damage. Right, so you keep moving in there. The men are broken. Uh, okay. Yeah, the Coast Guard usually are the first to break, I've found. Um, let's just shoot in the back there. All of you shoot in the back here as well. Actually, well, you could keep shooting there. And just keep shooting into the rear of anywhere that's, like, accessible. Um, oh, cavalry. Yep, yeah, you, you've killed these guys. Um, where's my other cavalry? Oh, they're winning that combat. Um, chase these guys down. Um, chase these guys down. Don't let them uh, reposition. That's what I say. Excellent. Right, so it looks like we've routed their generals, so they're in a sticky position here. I'm going to just charge these halberds. Charge the halberds? But sir, that's suicide. I don't care. Uh, this is where my general dies, because I start doing stupid things like charging into halberds. Right. Let's get someone in the front line, please. There we go. Someone in the front line. Excellent. Ah, uh, that wasn't that great charge, to be honest. I think they were getting a bit tired. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Um, yeah, they're not winning that battle. Um, let's pull out and go somewhere else. Please? Actually, yeah, route, route these guys. Um, let's... Send you in there, and you in there. Right. Fountain Guard, keep pushing, please. Let's see the Fountain Guard in action. The elites, the elites, coming in. Everything's committed. Casualties aren't a problem now. See, they don't seem to want to... They're doing minimal, minimal effort, these Fountain Guard. The Axemen are lost in Archer doing very well. They usually break for me first because they're like a shock unit. But um, not today. They're just going to keep on going. Um, Cap General, keep chasing these guys down. Uh, and we broke everything here. Excellent, right. Oh, and those um, Coast Guards returned. Well, that was mighty fine of them. But, I mean, both of these factions look just amazing. Loki Rim... Uh, just look amazing. I'm, Eastlings, I wish you saw more of the Eastlings in the uh, in the films, to be honest. It is a big shame not to see more of them. Let's just attack these Halberdiers, because we're definitely, definitely losing to the Halberdiers here. The poor, uh, oh yeah, look at this. The Sildor Guard are getting absolutely hammered. We really need to, uh, we need to sort that out. I think the battle is just about won. You can never be sure. We're running down their general. Okay, they're winning that battle now. Oh, the generals, the enemy general has been killed. Oh, I did worry. Oh, okay, and our uh, Citadel Guard just ran. That's not so great, but we're, we're getting there. We can kill these guys off. Oh, come on. Just look at them. That is just a scary uniform, as well as just shows off how elite they are. These guys... Yeah, it's gonna, we're going to need to outflank these guys and um, probably bring some cavalry in the rear to break them because they are just nasty. Yeah, and the other one looks just as healthy. Um, oh, the, their archers are all the way back here, though. Oh, and I have gondol spears that are just chasing them down. Oh, wow. Um, just throw everything against the halberds. Um, I didn't realize I had um, spearmen all the way out there. Oh well. Well, their archers are all but are all that's left. Um, my archers can hold fire as well. Hold fire. Um, yeah, we don't need you to keep firing unless you're gonna fire at them over there. You can fire at them over there. That's you have permission to do that. 
Um, I didn't realise I had guys all the way over there. Oh well. Let's keep. Let's watch the fall of these halberdiers because these guys have uh, fought valiantly for the. I don't know what. Do they have a king? The Eastlings. Can someone let me know in the comments if Eastlings have kings or is it a chief or a Khan? Might be a Khan. Something tells me it might be that. But um, oh, I'm just. It's just amazing to see this. I'm so happy that this mod was made. Just, I'm able to now witness Swan Knights cutting down Eastlings. It's it's a glorious sight, to be honest. And I don't know what's going on over there, but there's they look like they oh no they haven't rallied. Um, you just go and my general can go and do that. Are the halberd is finally breaking. No, they they're just they're just losing the battle. They know that. Okay, and then these guys have just broken. So it's the final unit of uh, infantry here. Fighting on to the death. Then it's just down to archers. They might just break straight away, to be honest. Might not even take uh, me going over there. There they go. Oh, poor guys. They get cut down. No mercy. No mercy. All right, let's just go through and gun these guys down. Um, definitely going to lose a few cavalry doing this. Just watch this. Will they go quick enough to... Oh, no, maybe they're not going to go quick enough to uh, cause the traps. Oh, no, they already broke them. Poor guy. Broke his own trap. Oh, well, that's a shame. Oh, no, there is some infantry left. They've got um, more Loki Rim Warriors. Oh, and my general is getting absolutely hammered. Yeah, I'm not surprised our general fell. He just got absolutely hammered by archers. No surprise there at all. Um, all the infantry just like hammering to these. My pikes are the most healthy, mainly because they probably didn't fight properly. They're just, I don't know, don't know what they're doing. Messing around is what they're doing. Um, General, can you just... Men are broken? Who broke? Oh, the Axemen of Lozenar just broke. <laughs> For who knows why. They were just like, oh, it's a bit scary. Can I just gun down my own men? For cowardice? I kind of like to do that. Um, yeah, just keep just keep fighting. Um, this, the battle is basically over, so I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have and you want to see more Rise of Mordor stuff, please remember to like and subscribe. Um, we're getting very close to uh, uh, 430 subs, I'm pretty sure, and then it's... 450 I'd say is my next like sort of target. I mean 430 is not really a target. It's just just where we're at at the time this video's come out. Um, but yeah, Road to 500 is looking good. And uh, I thank you all for the support. Um, I can't appreciate it enough. And I think that's my generals have broken. Well, I mean I can see why because there is no general left. RIP general. Um, what? Okay, they're all broken. Let's just kill them and then we can surround. Okay, the fine. Okay, this is the final infantry unit, a sword unit. These will uh, probably break a lot quicker. Yeah, look at that. Oh, no, and then the floodgates are left open for them. Um, can you guys just charge quicker? Um, here they go. At a, at a canter. Because this is as quick as they can go. Is that. Are they going. Here we go. Um, let's, let's follow them. Uh, we've got like one of the guys right at the back. Oh, victory. Victory comes up straight as I say it. Well, that's a bit anticlimactic. I was hoping for one glorious last charge. But Gondor dared to go into the desert. And it dare pulled off. The, uh, the Eastlings could not match them. So anyway, we'll end the battle. And we'll have a look at the end results. Um, so we lost around half of our force. Um... Yeah, just over half of our force. Uh, probably a lot of that down to, uh, I don't know really, down, maybe down to friendly fire. This probably was a bit. Um, but anyway, let's have a look quickly. We've got Knights of the Silver Swan for me doing very well. All nearly getting 100, uh, 200 kills. Uh, my archers is actually doing respectably well. Fountain Guard, I thought did poorly, but they actually did okay at 60 kills each. I mean, some of my Gondors, did, uh, Sword and Infantry didn't even get that. And Spears were pretty poor. Um... Citadel Guard, doing very, very well. This one, anyway. Uh, the other two doing pretty poorly as well. Actually, yeah, the Fountain Guard were probably some of my best infantry. and they, But to me, they just didn't look like they were doing anything. Um, but they clearly were. They're st stabbing away with their pikes. Uh, 
Archer's doing very well, uh, generally, like I said already. Um, Axeman of uh, Princess Coast Guard were just a not worthy an in investment. If you play this game, I wouldn't really recommend bringing them, unless maybe for choke point, they're probably best there. But you probably need to bring a shield to Union to protect them, because they don't have shields. Um, and then Warriors of Laws and Arch doing okay as well. They probably... Um, well, they stood longer than I expected. Um, anyway, we'll have a quick look at the Eastlings. Their cavalry did very well. Apart from this one, their cavalry did very well. Um, just uh, annoying me at the early stages. They were just annoying. They didn't get many kills necessarily, but they just broke up my lines. Their, um, their infantry did fairly well. Loki Rim, all doing fairly well. Apart from this one. Um, and then their halberds, which, yeah, look at that. 175, their halberds. That's the capability that they had. And they had Varric Bowman uh, and Loki Rim archers, and they also all did, I mean, this one didn't do that great, and these ones did okay. Um, it's against the AI, so I mean, the AI's gonna just bundle it up anyway. But um, if you guys are wanting to do some battles together, please let me know in the comments. I'm more than happy to play against some uh, non-AI opponents. It's more, it makes the battles more interesting, and um, gets more interesting results. But yeah, if you've enjoyed, like I said, please like and subscribe, and until next time, guys, bye for now.